this plumber just absolutely wrecked a 20 year philosophy of mine in the real estate career and we're going to explain it we have been thinking plumbers when they do a pressure test are just wrecking people's houses and breaking pipes and causing all kinds of problems but at the same time when we represent a buyer we want buyers to get that test so what the heck are we talking about and what do you need to know now let me just ask you this why do you think buyers need to test that and what are they testing the most expensive repair on any house you buy is probably going to be something under the house. Mm -hmm. The sewer line's leaking or the water line's leaking. You have home inspectors to come in and look at lights, switches, fans, garbage disposals, anything you can fix for a few hundred dollars. If you've got a leak on your cast iron or your water under your house, that can be tens up to $100,000 repair. All right, that stuff's brutal, and that's what most people are looking at. All right, we've checked. The home inspector's done 47 mm -hmm. pages of everything I can see, you bet. but under the house or in the slab or in the crawl space or whatever, all the pipes on the house are there. So it would be great to know that that works. How does that happen? It's really, it's a simple test and some of it, some plumbers don't even do. Some plumbers just come out and run a camera and they say, look, there's no leak in there. They can't tell by a camera, but here's the thing. If you take your two-way clean out out front, put a test ball in between them, and then just fill the sewer up with water. Up to the ground level, I'm just worried about what's under the slab. I'm not applying any external pressure. This is just water. I'm filling it up. It's going to overflow when it's full. I'm going to quit adding water and see if it goes down. Okay, so in layman's terms, my whole plumbing system in my house is connected. You're corking the end up so it can't just run out, and you're just filling it up. You're not pressurizing it. You're not jacking up right. the pressure way higher than normal, which, by the way, is how almost every real estate agent I have ever talked with in 20 plus years views that test. They, we have all been under the impression that there is additional pressure put on the system. So we have been afraid to let plumbers do those tests on our seller's homes because we thought you guys could break the pipes. What you're telling me literally in the last four minutes is that a good plumber will never apply more pressure than normal residential use. Never. I mean, literally, all we're doing is filling it with water. It's like taking a glass and filling it with water. If there's a crack or a hole in it, that water level is going to go down. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just filling it with water. If there's a hole, if there's a crack, that water level is going to go down. Do you agree okay. with that? That makes sense. Okay. Now, where you may be thinking about is the water side, because right now we're talking about the sewer side. The water side is even easier. A plumber is going to put a gauge at your washing machine where a hose bib is, mm -hmm. disconnect the hose, put a gauge on there, turn it on and say, okay, it's at 80 PSI. Now go shut the meter off. Okay. Did I apply any pressure? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> That's a hard no. <laughs> I didn't apply any pressure, but I know that that water level should stay at 80. It's 80 PSI. That's what the city's putting in. Mm -hmm. When I shut that meter off, I'm not allowing any more water in or allowing water to go out. If there are no leaks, that gauge should stay at 80 PSI and we do it for 15 minutes. Okay, so my simple real estate agent brain is hearing, you're not hooking up any new water source to push. You can't put, apply pressure. You could, you're trying to but, keep, but if a plumber does the that, way you're doing ask it, him to leave. You can't. Yes, you're if you're right. just putting the gauge on it, there's no input. You're just finding out what is the current pressure and is it changing, right? I'm understanding that correctly? Is the pressure dropping? Because I never dropping? understood it that way before. Right, is the pressure dropping? Yes or no? It's that easy. Okay. So I'm now speaking to homeowners, buyers, sellers, real estate agents. We just have to re-understand what has, honestly, I'm not blaming any one person, but it's been poorly explained to me. And I think you kind of are blaming some people that hydrostatic test is a scary sounding name. And the way it's been explained to people for a long time has caused us to believe this way, right? I mean, I, I'll, I'll take the blame if I read it wrong, but I, it's been told to it, me It's been way. told to you wrong. A lot of other companies attorneys have it in their form and they always use the word hydrostatic test. Mm -hmm. If you go to Google, Wikipedia, you go to wherever, hydrostatic test is going to be take a pipe, seal it off and pressurize it. Right. Apply external pressure. I've argued with Trek. I've argued with, not to piss off Trek for you. I've, I've, I've had conversations with Trek and other companies, attorneys, other real estate, or other real estate offices, attorneys, make sure I get my language right here. Be careful. Yeah, be careful here. I'm talking about attorneys. Take the word hydrostatic out. 
We call it a water sewer test. That's it. Does the sewer hold water? Does the water pressure not drop? That's all it is. And that's what you want your house to do. That's it. You just want your plumbing system not to leak, not to break, not to fail. And that's how you test it. That we've known. You bet. What I have literally misunderstood, and I, I, I don't know that we've done anything wrong. We've just tried to advocate and protect our clients. And the Absolutely. industry as a whole has had similar fears based on a misunderstanding of what those tests are. So we don't like to be wrong, but when we are, we like to tell you that and get it right. And we are literally learning, by the way, go look up plumbing on YouTube. You'll find that mustache right there. That's Roger Wakefield, uh, the world's plumber and our plumber. So what we now know is if you own a home and you're worried, if someone's asking you for a hydrostatic test or a water test, that's probably maybe why you found this video. Mm -hmm. That is a safe thing to do as long as they're not adding any pressure or pressurizing that pipe. How would I know if that test is being done incorrectly, if someone is pressurized? I, I would actually ask the plumber, are you going to apply any external pressure? A good plumber is going to tell you no. Why, why would we ever do that? Mm -hmm. All you want to know as a buyer, now this is something I've always recommended to home buyers, every house you think about buying, every real estate agent that's representing the buyer, Put it in your notes, just like you do tell them to get a home inspection. Hey, we recommend a sewer water test. Again, I don't call it a hydrostatic test. Yeah. It tests the sewer line. It tests the water line. Are there any leaks under the house? That's all any buyer should want to know. Yeah. In my mind, normally this would be an unbelievably boring video, but this is unbelievably powerful because if you're a buyer or a seller and you are wanting this or terrified of this, this should simplify that very, very much. This is like checking if the sink turns on when you turn the knob. It's just saying, hey, do the pipes hold the water? Do they hold the sewage? This should be impactful for you. So if you're a seller and a buyer is asking for that, I would ask that qualifying question. You bet. Are you going to add any external pressure? If not, carry on. If it's a buyer and you're saying, well, they're really pushing back on this, I would say we intend to add no additional pressure. We just want to know if everything's working properly. And a seller should allow you to then do that. Now, as for other companies and their policies, you know, ask your agent, ask your inspector. When we help people, we have always wanted buyers to check everything possible. And we've always wanted to protect our sellers from not ad finding additional costs throughout the process. But first of all, let me just say thank you for clarifying that for me. That will help hundreds of thousands of home buyers and sellers and agents as we communicate with the world on this stuff as well. So to me, that is the scariest number one plumbing related item when buying and selling a home. And that's what I'm hearing you say as well. Right down the road here is where I first got involved with this. I had done a job for a friend. I got called over here to look at a house. They said they had another company come out. So we looked at what they did. This, this couple right down the road from here bought a house, $300,000, had to spend $60,000 to get Whoa. the sewer line replaced. Can you imagine buying a house and then three to six months later, you're told, 20% of the cost of the house. Yeah. Would you have bought the house? No. Well, okay. had you known before, you wouldn't have bought the had house. Had you known before. Here's what's good about this. Normally, the seller can get insurance to help pay for that if their plumber knows how to speak insurance. Well, that's a whole other video. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one, everybody.